OpenSense generates a self-signed certificate for the web interface during installation. Although a self-signed certificate may suffice, particularly in a home network setting with restricted web interface access, there are better solutions than this. OpenSense allows you to create Let's Encrypt certificates using the Acme client, a plugin included in the repository. Let's Encrypt certificates are advantageous due to their cost-free nature and the ease in which they can be created for your domains. In this tutorial, we will explain how you can change a self-signed certificate with a Let's Encrypt certificate on your OpenSense firewall. Before getting started, you will need to use a genuine domain name that you control or a dynamic DNS domain name. Step 1. Update Domain Name You will need to update your OpenSense domain by replacing the default domain of local domain with your registered domain name. Navigate to the System, Settings, General on OpenSense Web UI. Specify the hostname, such as My Router. Specify the domain, such as MyHome.net. Click Save at the bottom of the page. Step 2. Generate Cloudflare API Key. To generate certificates, you must first establish an API token with your DNS registrar. Several DNS registrars like Cloudflare provide an API for handling DNS records. Cloudflare will be used as an example in this tutorial. Add an A record DNS entry for your domain such as myrouter.myhome.net with your public IP address, disabled proxy, and TTL of 5 minutes. Go back to Overview. Select Get Your API Token at the bottom right of the page. Click Create Token button. Select Use Template next to the Edit Zone DNS option. You may either select the correct zone for your domain in the Zone Resources option, such as MyHome.net or All Zones. Click Continue to Summary button at the bottom of the page. Click Create Token to generate the API key. Copy the API key into your clipboard. Paste it temporarily into a text file or a sticky note. For security reasons, the token will not be shown again. Access the overview page of the domain through the Cloudflare dashboard to determine the account ID and zone ID associated with a specific domain name. Step 3. Install the Acme Client Plugin The installation of the Acme Client Plugin in OpenSense is straightforward. Log in to your OpenSense web GUI using an account with administrative access such as root. Navigate to System, Firmware, Plugins. Type OS Acme Client in this search field to find the plugin. Click on the plus icon next to the OS Acme Client to install the plugin. Then you will be redirected to the Update Menu tab. Click on the Plugins tab to see that the OS Acme Client plugin is installed. Now, you should see the Acme Client menu under Services on the OpenSense Web UI. Step 4. Register Account The Acme Client account information is used to associate certificates with your identity, in addition to being able to be used to notify you via email when your certificates are about to expire. Navigate to Services, Acme Client, Accounts on OpenSense Web UI. Click on the Add button with the plus icon at the right of the page. Ensure that Enable checkbox is checked. Specify the name to identify the account. Type a descriptive name in the description field. Optionally, you may enter an email address for this account. Select the Acme Certificate Authority. Since the production Let's Encrypt CA has a failed validation restriction of 5 failures per account, per hostname, and per hour, it is advisable to verify your configuration on the Let's Encrypt Test CA beforehand. We will utilize the Let's Encrypt Test CA until we are certain that the Acme client has been configured properly. 
Optionally, you may type the key identifier value provided by the CA when using the Acme External Account Binding. Optionally, you may type HMAC key value provided by the CA when using the Acme External Account Binding. Click Save. Step 5. Select Challenge Types. Although there are various challenge types available, you may prefer the DNS challenge type due to its ability to issue wildcard certificates and its functionality without requiring port openings on your network. Navigate to Services, Acme Client, Challenge Types on the OpenSense Web UI. Click on the Add button with the plus icon at the right of the page. Ensure that Enable checkbox is checked. Specify the name for the challenge type. Type a descriptive name into the description field. Set the Acme challenge type. You'll have to add configuration for the selected challenge type below. Since DNS01 is the most dependable challenge variety, we will employ it. Select the DNS service provider such as Cloudflare.com. You may leave DNS sleep time as default. This is the amount of time in seconds that must elapse before any text records are added to the DNS API to take effect. When this value is set to zero seconds, the Acme client will check for public DNS services every 10 seconds for a maximum of 20 minutes. If set to a value other than zero, a fixed DNS dormancy time will be implemented and queries will be directed to the local DNS servers. Specific DNS APIs require a minimum slumber duration of 120 seconds. If you are using Cloudflare, you may enter email and key under global API key, which will use your Cloudflare account with full privileges. Since this is less secure, an API token should be used instead. Use the restricted API token type of CF account ID, CF API token, and CF zone ID. Click Save. Step 6. Set up automation. While automations are entirely discretionary, they have the potential to greatly simplify tasks. Navigate to Services, Acme Client, Automations on the OpenSense Web UI. Click on the Add button with the plus icon at the right of the page. Ensure that the Enable checkbox is checked. Specify the name for the automation. Type a descriptive name into the description field. Select one of the options from Run Command drop-down menu, such as Restart OpenSense Web UI. Click Save. Step 7. Add Certificate To add a certificate for Acme Clients, navigate to Services, Acme Client, Certificates on the OpenSense Web UI. Click on the Add button with the plus icon at the right of the page. Ensure that the Enable checkbox is checked. Specify the common name, which is the hostname and domain name of your OpenSense router, such as router.myhome.net. The name must correspond to the hostname or domain name of the OpenSense system. Type a descriptive name into the description field. You may configure additional names that should be part of the certificate, such as www.example.com or mail.example.com via the alt names field. Select Acme Account, select Challenge Type, enable Auto Renewal option to prevent expiration. When disabled, the cron job will ignore this certificate. Set the Renewal Interval to specify the days to renew the certificate. Select the Key Length value which is 4096 bit by default. You may select the Restart OpenSense Web UI automation that was created in the previous step for the Automations option. Every program necessitates a swift restart to reload the latest certificate. Failure to set up an automation might lead to the expiration of the in-memory certificate, resulting in security alerts and other complications. Click Save. At this time, the certificate is displayed. 
You may attempt to manually issue the initial certificate as a test to ensure that it can be generated accurately. Click Issue Renew All Certificates button in order to generate the certificate. Alternatively, if you wish to issue renew a specific certificate exclusively, click on the third icon to the right of the certificate. You will see the issue renewal date as the last ACME status listed as OK if everything is properly set up. If not, review the log files located under Services, ACME Client, Log Files to Troubleshoot. Step 8. Enable ACME Client Plugin. After installing the ACME client, it must be configured to generate and automatically renew certificates. Navigate to Services, ACME Client, Settings on OpenSense Web UI. You may click Advanced Mode toggle bar at the top left of the pane. Click Enable Plugin checkbox. Ensure the Auto Renewal option is enabled to prevent certificate expiration. By doing so, a cron job will be added to the system. Changing the cron job schedule to suit your requirements may be necessary, as reissuing a certificate could result in a brief period of inactivity contingent upon the challenge type and the service that you choose. You may enable the HA proxy integration with OpenSense. For this option, installation of the OpenSense HA proxy plugin is mandatory. This will add the necessary backend, server, action, and ACL for you automatically. Simply choose your HA proxy frontend during the certificate or challenge type configuration process. This option is only applicable to HTTP 01 validation and HA proxy frontends operating in HTTP mode. It does not support TCP frontends. You may specify the log level for acme.sh. The default value is normal. All other log levels include diagnostic information. As the level increases, debug2 and debug3 log messages from the acme.sh that are successively more detailed, including messages from the DNS01, DNS API scripts. You may disable Show Introduction Pages option if you want. You may change the local HTTP port that is the default 43580. When HTTP01 is used as the challenge type, the ACME CA receives challenge data from a local web server. The local web server should not utilize port 80 or any other widely recognized port as it is not directly accessible from the outside world. You may change the local TLS ALPN port that is the default 43581. This is the service port when using the TLS ALPN01 as the challenge type. You may leave automation timeout as default 600. This is the upper limit in seconds for the completion duration of an automation. The command is terminated automatically when the timeout expires. Click test config button to see if you have any configuration issues. Click apply to activate the settings. Step nine, change test certificate with production certificate. After verifying that your test certificates are working without any issues, you may replace them with your production certificate. Navigate to Services, ACME Client, Accounts. Select the pencil icon under Commands to edit the account. Change the Let's Encrypt Test CA to Let's Encrypt in the ACME CA drop-down menu. Select Save. Step 10, updating the web GUI certificate. To change the OpenSense web GUI certificate, navigate to System, Settings, Administration on the OpenSense web UI. Select the new ACME client certificate from the SSL certificates dropdown list. Click Save at the bottom of the page. Relaunch your OpenSense login page on a new browser. You should see that the not secured icon is gone. Congratulations, you now have a Let's Encrypt wildcard certificate installed in OpenSense.